This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. It is Friday, September 9th, about 10 a.m. We're selling this 2003 Chevy Avalanche Z71 four-wheel drive with a 5.3 liter motor. It has 81,000 miles. It is on a salvage title due to theft. It is not a collision vehicle. It was not wrecked. Um, insurance company avoids liability uh, by selling it on a salvage title. Basically, they paid out twenty-something thousand dollars when this thing was stolen, and they don't want to lose a million because the next guy finds out that Allstate or State Farm or whoever used to own this, and they run a stoplight and they blame them for not giving it a salvage title. So they just throw the whole car into the bus and say, "You know what? We're going to take our ten thousand dollar loss, and that'll be enough." That's why they do it. Nothing to do with uh, crashing, damage, or anything like that. It's salvaged due to total loss because a victim was paid a lot of money. And that's how it gets totaled. Two ways to total a car, financially and physically. This one was financially. So, anyway, this is a black uh, truck. So, of course, it's the paint is chipped up and yucky. It's not the uh, most cosmetically appealing vehicle in the world. It's got matching uh, Bridgestone tires, sort of on off road tire, that have probably, I'd say, 30 to 50 percent, eh, more closer to 50 percent tread. Um, like all these things, the molding starts to get discolored. If you wanted to dye those or go to Pet Boys and get some ingredients to deal with that, you could. I picture this being more of a, you know, daily driver, commuter thing. See all the rock chips and high speed stuff and. And that's what you got here. So, just, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't, if I were you, I wouldn't do anything with it. Just like uh, all this stuff. This is a white truck, you probably wouldn't notice 97%, but it's black, so they stand out like a sore thumb. Every single one of them. But, mechanically, it runs and drives great. It has beautiful ice cold air. Um, we did put a power steering pump in it. It had a really noisy power steering, which is real common in just about every GM product. And uh, so we dealt with that. Put a new pump in it. Let's see. See how these moldings? All these old avalanches do that. The newer avalanches, their moldings hold up better than the, the, these do. The 02, 03, 04 seem to get that crud but you can actually tape this off and get some uh, dye at Pep Boys or Checkers or something and, and paint them if you want to but we try to sell them exactly the way we bought them so it doesn't so we're not covering things up scratch right there there's your tailgate some scratches there a little one there then you got these little storage bins here you can see there's your bed nothing to report there let's see what's in here there's this one on this side see that Yeah, and there are covers to go for that bed, but it didn't have them. They probably stole it when they stole the truck. And they're kind of pricey, so even used, I wouldn't even bother with it because it's just not worth the effort with this one. Um, I would just make this a truck I drive. I did notice that not on this, on the driver door, it looks like there's been a little paintwork on the driver door into the driver fender. Um, and they did a really good job of painting, but they didn't do a very good job of color sanding or sanding. It stops like right here over the fender, and it goes to, gosh, looks like it goes to right here, the door handle. The color's fine, but I mean, <laughs> overall, I don't really think it matters, but we like to let you know what you're buying all the way. So, and it's missing a lens. That's a red lens that just pops in there. Probably buy one of those for five bucks if you wanted. Again, we're just selling some good transportation here that happens to be four-wheel drive. 
Um, the seats look great, especially the back seat. Um, I don't really see a whole lot of wear at all. Probably no one ever sat back here. Headliner looks good. Let me open the hood for you. There you go. You can see there's your factory fenders. Here's your emission system. Oh yeah, emission system. Speaking of that, they did steal the catalytic converters. So we did have to put in catalytic converters underneath the vehicle on the exhaust. Um, they're high flow, so they're actually they run better um, than factories. Uh, more airflow, so probably a few more horsepower. But we do let you know that they're there, so that you know. So if you don't want one because it's got some high performance catalytic converters, then you know and you know not to bid. But if it doesn't bother you, and it shouldn't, but uh, you'd be fine with that. Okay, let's see. Door panels look good there. Uh, they were missing the speaker grate covers here. So my interior guy uh, had some made. You cannot buy those grate covers anymore. You have to buy the whole door panel. So that's why they're carpet like that. Um, it's just, <laughs> you can't buy them. You gotta buy the whole door panel, even used. And the whole door panel for this truck is $200. So that was our solution to that. If you can see that one on that side, so they match at least. Um, Anyway, there's a little bit of a blemish right there. I don't know if that's something that will come out or not, but I imagine the detail shop would have gotten it out if it would. Obviously, they stole the uh, they stole the radio. And we have there's your dash. You just move the dash mat so you can see underneath it does have a little bit of that peeling paint thing that would dye stuff that always happens on GM's this stuff which is probably why we put the dash bed on I don't know why it's sort of like the uh, it's sort of like the uh, the uh, trim outside for some reason they had a lot of trouble every one of our Tahoe's um, Escalades trucks anything that's 05 or older and have more than like 50,000 miles, I'll get that. It's just weird. So anyway, we could have dyed it, but this is no, there's no point. You know, once you start dulling this truck, uh, truck up, then you gotta paint it and everything, and there's just no point. You're not buying it for the looks. Anyway, the air is blowing nice and cold. There, it's on full blast. Turn that down. There's your miles. It's been running for about an hour and a half. It's not hot, and it's very hot out right now. 80,980 miles. Um, oil pressure is perfect. Everything's going good. We have a tilt wheel. We have cruise. We have the tow button on and off. We put it into neutral, into neutral and low. There we go. Put it into drive. And yes, that is definitely very torquey for low and in reverse. That is definitely four-wheel drive low. Then we're going to go to four-wheel high. Put it in drive. Yes, I can definitely feel the front wheels pulling, but we've got the ability to go quite a bit faster at four high. And then we go to four auto. And there's that. Drive and reverse. Perfect. Go back to neutral for high, and let's go for a quick ride down the street. I'm almost out of time, but it, let's go on to Tucson's worst roads. Every every video I ever do, I bash on our roads because our roads are a freaking joke. Look at that. See that, guys? This is where we four wheel on our paved roads. So anyway, uh, please check this thing out. It's a nice truck. Um, runs great. Um, that's all I have to say. Thank you. What the fuck is bouncing around? Really?
something is really loose underneath this truck. Really loose. Feels weird. Kind of like avalanches. Come on. <laughs> 